Hello, this is Daphman here again. Um, decided to go my own way with the motors. I said in one of my other videos. So this is one that I've built. And we've also got a set of lights in the back. Nothing spectacular. A large capacitor. 3,300 UF at 400 volts. Uh, obviously the normal meters. Just to... The idea of this one is just to show you what I believe is happening to some of your circuits. Right, we'll deal with the coils first. There's two. Bithelia wound, the trigger wire is 0 0.50 millimeters, and that's 50 winds of each. And the run wires, which is the motor drive ones, is actually one millimeter thick, and again 50 turns on both of those. Now, because these are north-south faced magnets, neos and I've got two round uh, 18 mils per side in that. One should be wound anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Anti I've actually wound both these two clockwise, and I should have done the bottom one anti-clockwise. Not a mistake, did it on purpose. I just want to demonstrate something that I believe is happening in some of the uh, circuits that's uh, on YouTube. Right, we won the two coils. And we've done them by failure, as said, so therefore we've got two starts and two ends to each coil. So, in other words, we've got four connections on to make on that one and four connections to make on that one. Now, where I've actually gone not wrong, I'm wrong on purpose with this, where the two starts of each coil on both windings go together. So, the trigger coil windings which are on this side, goes at the bottom here, and the start from the bottom one goes to that same peg, leaving the two end coils for the trigger. So in other words, they're the actual two ends of the trigger coil. And what we should normally have is a start and an end. I've wired it wrong on purpose. Okay. Same on that side. So just a, a quick, quick recap on that is the starts of each coil winding on the run go together at the back and you end up with two ends of your windings from each coil on that. Oh, that's clear. I can probably do a bit of a diagram. We're running the normal Bedini circuit. I'll just put a little switch in this one for switching purposes. So the standard Bedini circuit Nothing's altered or changed on that, it's just a different layout, but it is just the Bedini circuit, as in the other ones. I've set it out like this, so if, uh, I think it's a bit easier for people to follow. So, 12 volt battery. Right, we'll give this a little flick. I'm only going to run it for a short period of time because it absolutely r revs its head off. And the other thing is, I've not actually fastened the shaft to the bearings to stop it moving side to side. So, I'm only going to run it, say, for a short period of time. The Bedini wound full up. And here we go. Oops. So it absolutely revs its head off. But I think you will agree that was quite high revving. So uh, the motor itself is quite a success. Originally fired it up with a reed switch that's why the magnets on the end there and the little brass bush and so impressed with the RPM I actually built this little thing that sits on there and produces me 17.5 uh, volts free running as soon as you drop a load on it of course everything starts to struggle but um, even with the, with the RPM on this I'm still working on that Right, for the rest of the test, uh, we'll have them bulbs lighting up, shall we? And we'll stick both meters on. Strange occurrences with this, this is that's why I've done it like this and wound the coil like I have. See all the lights lit up at the back? Motor spin up, I'm sure you can hear. At that speed, it's climbing to 100 about an amp. That's what I'm burning. That's milliamps, by the way. So let me say, I'm switching her off because. She scares me. What I'm going to do is just show you what happens when I, when I turn the Bedini hot. The motor comes to a halt. Look at the lights. They're still on. 
So what's actually happening is, I turn the preset full up, the motor will spin. I turn the preset down a little bit, all the light, and then I just do that, just to activate it. And the lights come on, but the motor's not spinning. But we're drawing 806 milliamps, so not quite over unit it. It is 35 volt at the capacitor, and I believe this is what some of you is getting. This is just a standard Bedini circuit, nothing special. As I say, we're running on a little battery there. That's the current we're draining out the run battery. That is the current that the bulbs are all using at the moment. They are all connected in sequence, not in parallel. And it means I can just take that little jumper off and put them in different places, similar to a resistor array or something of that nature. But I thought you might be interested in the way this is working. It don't get hot, neither does the transistor, neither does the resistor. Nothing on it is getting hot whatsoever at all. If you don't collect the back EMF on this one, the strange thing is, this bulb pops out. It actually takes it straight out. Without the load on, the capacitors... Uh, will go up to something like 380 volts. But to restart the thing, oscillating, there we go. So basically I do just kick the circuit into motion by just flicking it. And you can see the light's all nice and bright. Now what we've actually got here, as far as I can follow what's going off in the circuitry, is a Thresent tube driver. The small ones like you get in the caravan or a, uh, or the one you saw in the earlier videos of mine with the little present tube. The driver that drives that, that's basically what we, this Bedini circuit is behaving like. So let me say, certainly not over unity in any way at all. It does charge a battery quite well, I'll give it that. <laughs> I can charge a 24 volt battery from a 12 volt battery way before the 12 volt battery is flat. I have actually tried that one when I was feeling brave with this rotor. But I'm going to rebuild all the rotor now, so... Uh, so say, this one's my own design, nobody else's. Now I'm going to strip it all down and uh, rewind the coil the correct way. But basically what I'm actually built here is a little tube driver. If you can imagine the tube driver you get in a caravan, a ballast, that's basically how this circuit is performing. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that one. 